What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, we are going to compare Cubase 12 and Studio One 6 tempo track. If you guys have seen my previous video, I've been comparing uh, features of Studio One 6 and Cubase 12. And so far, I've been having good time working with both of these dolls. There are some things in Cubase that is not available in Studio One. And then there's Studio One features which I would prefer to have in Cubase 12. Anyway, I can still work with both of them and use the features available in both of these DAWs. So without further ado, let's jump right in. I'm going to demonstrate this in Cubase first, then I'll go to Studio One. There's two ways to work with tempo track in Cubase. So the first one is by adding the tempo track to the project window. So in order for you to add tempo track, you have to go to this plus button and choose the tempo track right here and click on add track so now we have tempo track added the other way is by pressing ctrl t this is the shortcut key and you have this floating tempo track window which then you can close it and you can you know open it anytime you want okay so i don't usually use this one a lot because i prefer having it here on on top of this project window so in Studio One, there's a way for you to kind of like adjust the maximum and minimum tempo that you like to have for that particular project. I was not aware that Cubase had this feature as well until I started using Studio One. Okay, so that's my bad. So here we can set the minimum and the maximum tempo. You can obviously lock this, uh, the tempo track as well. And then if you go to this uh, black box here, you can just click on it and you can actually have a couple of options here so step means if you were to draw a tempo okay if you adjust this tempo it's gonna actually go up in a stepwise motion so if you change it to ramp now you see it's actually moving up as ramp instead of the step if you want to activate tempo track you can actually click on this button here and it will activate the tempo track so if you did not activate this whatever you do here the project will not be following the tempo set here so you have to activate the tempo track and then now you can draw your tempo manually now this project will follow this tempo track unless if you have turned this off now you can set whatever tempo that you want so now this project will use this tempo instead of the one that we just draw, okay? And the other cool feature of Cubase Tempo Track is this one right here, the process process tempo. Let's say you have a one minute short video that you like to compose a score. You don't know what is the best tempo to use for that video. So in order for you to do that, you have to enter the bar. Okay, let's say you want eight bar beat and this eight bar should be within maybe 30 seconds no let's have 16 bar 16 bar beat with 30 second length okay so let's have a 30 second let's make it zero zero okay so 1 to 16 bar of music to be within 30 seconds so I can just hit process now it actually gave me this tempo 51 beat per minute for 16 bar equal to one minute of music okay so that is really useful especially when you're scoring for ad or uh, making a tiktok content right so that's it for cubase tempo track let's jump into studio one and see what we can do with it okay for studio one tempo track you don't have to add it like the one in cubase you can just press on this button here and then you can choose the tempo here and like I said before they have the minimum and maximum amount of tempo that you can actually set here okay which is cool if you click on this minus button here it's going to actually delete all the points that we have added okay if you want to have a step wise tempo adjustment what you can do you can just go up here and you see this icon here just click on this and then you can drag it down so it has like a stepwise instead of the ramp way so if you actually use the point here and then if you drag it's actually going to go as the ramp like we saw in cubase however okay if you want to just bring this down in a stepwise just go up here and you see this trim icon just bring it down okay the other cool thing you can do is press alt 
use down or up arrow key to actually move up and down and if you press shift and drag it down it's actually gonna increase or decrease with more finer value and if you just drag it down or up it's not gonna have the finer value for this tempo changes okay if you want to change the time base you can just right click on this go to time base and then you can select whether you want time linear or beat linear so if I have time base if I press control and drag it down you can see this third bar is actually kind of like move around okay okay if you have it set at the beat linear if I press control and drag it it's not going to change at all okay so just one cool thing that you should be aware of for the studio one's tempo track okay so that's it for this video so I find that tempo track in Cubase is much more advanced where I can set a time for a particular scene or video or content I can set the time of the music that I want and then I can set the bar as well and it will give me the correct tempo for me to work so that is really cool so thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video